A Las Cruces police officer charged with involuntary manslaughter was granted a personal recognizance bond, meaning he will not be held behind bars while awaiting his trial. In the meantime, ABC7 has obtained the officer's lapel camera video of the moments leading up to the deadly use of a neck restraint. Reporter Kate Beery shares the video from our New Mexico mobile newsroom. This body camera video shows exactly what happened the night of February 29th. Get on the ground! February 29th after 9.30 p.m. Oh, if you don't f***ing stop, bro, you, you, do do you, want. Do not reach. you understand me? Hit me you better stop. The voice of then-officer Christopher Smelzer chasing Antonio Valenzuela after a traffic stop. Valenzuela had a parole violation. The 40-year-old father also had a history of felony drug possession charges, but at that time, officers didn't know it. You know, I'm going to poke you out, bro. There was a clear physical struggle. Police say Smelzer attempted to use his taser, but it was unsuccessful. Give up, bro. Give up, bro. Give up, bro. Valenzuela ultimately used a vascular neck restraint. He reported the controversial technique no. via radio. Vienna, vascular neck restraint. At 9.40 p.m., Valenzuela stopped struggling. Oh, hang on for just a second. We got time. We're good. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah, he's out. Fuck, man. A little fight. As the EMTs arrive on scene at 9.46, then Officer Smelzer admitted he struggled. Dude, I couldn't get that VNR right yeah. and then finally I didn't he I went out did, bro. this guy went out they're doing CPR on him right now Holy crap, so I don't yeah I don't know what what happened but I still don't, fuck, I don't, yeah. I don't want anything yeah, like that to happen yeah. then officer Smelzer said he suspected Valenzuela yeah, had a knife him. we got him right here and took him down to the ground he started reaching yeah which which later we found he had a knife in there on scene, Smelzer told another law enforcement officer he struggled with the vascular neck restraint. VNR? Yeah. Um, I wasn't able to get it because he kept tucking his chin. Yeah. Eventually, we, he got it up just enough where I was able to slide it under. Uh -huh. Heard him snoring. Yeah. And then from there, that's when they said, hey, I don't know if I can feel a pulse. So AMR, AMR hopped over and started CPR right away. So. Okay. Okay. We also interviewed Antonio Valenzuela's family this past weekend. You can watch that interview as well. Just click on the New Mexico tab. Reporting from Las Cruces with our New Mexico mobile newsroom, Kate Beery, ABC7. During his first court appearance, Smelzer was not present but was represented by an attorney. Prosecutors argued Smelzer could be a flight risk, but the defense argued that since Smelzer has no criminal history and has been cooperative, there's no reason to think he'd leave Las Cruces. The judge granted a personal recognizance, uh, recognizance bond with the condition that Smelzer stay on a curfew, actively seek employment, and maintain all contact with his attorney, among other conditions.